Rox, joining us in the studio, Linda Wong. She's uh, part of a youth leadership program. I'm going to find out a little bit more about it because it's a little bit different. Linda, welcome to the catch up. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, Linda, thanks so much for coming in. Um, Linda, I found out about this project after you spoke um, at a Geelong Young Professional event um, that That's I correct. was involved with as well. Mm. Um, and you told me you were doing a PhD. Can you just explain what your PhD is in? Yeah, absolutely. So my PhD is looking at the different methods in which we can use horses and learning and seeing if there's a consistent delivery method for seeing an improvement in individuals' health and well-being. But I'm also supplementing that with the look of um, virtual reality to see if we can actually extend the reach of equine-assisted learning in the field. So why why do horses, like we'll talk about the leadership program that's about to launch this week in a moment, but why Mm. do horses help with learning? Mm. I mean, there's a number of different facets, but I guess if I were to sort of bring out the top three, um, if you think of horses, they're big animals, you know, so when you're around them, there's a real big presence about them. And there's a lot of imagery and symbolism around uh, the facets of them sort of having this leadership quality. So a lot of people seem quite in tune to just the symbolism of the horse itself. Um, The other thing is that horses are are quite... um, unique in that they're very hard to read sometimes. And so what you see is essentially what you get. So it really helps people sort of be in the moment when they're with the horse and it helps them be much more aware. And similar to people, all horses have very different personalities. So again, um, you know, when a, a person interacts with a horse, they have to act in the moment of what that horse's personality is. So there's a lot of learnings that they would have to take away with that. Wow. Mm. So on Friday, you are launching Equihands. Yes. Um, and some pretty cool partners too. I think the um, the Golden Plain Shire is one of the partners in this project. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been talking to the Golden Plain Shire Youth Department team for probably the last 12 months, really looking at how we can work together and collaborate to help the youth within the region. And so as part of that collaboration, um, there was an opportunity to put in a application to the Geelong Community Foundation. And um, we were fortunate enough to actually get some grant funding in this last round, um, which has enabled us to actually extend our Equihands program, which we've been delivering as a pilot for the, um, since 2016, really, but to extend that to the youth now in the region. Uh, Linda, who's eligible to be part of the program? Um, So at the moment, the funding's actually for youth between the ages of 12 and 16. Mm -hmm. And so basically, we'll be reaching out to the schools and seeing if there's a cohort of students within the schools that would be ideal to actually come on the program. So we're running a um, series of six different programs throughout the next 12 months, because that's what the funding's allowed us to do. And within each of the series, there'll be eight students max that will um, form a group within that program. And we'll see them on a weekly basis over the four weeks for two hours a week after school. Okay. That's awesome. Look, mm. it's fantastic. It's such an interesting approach. And I, I mean, I love horses. Poor Daryl had a bit of a not so great experience when he was a child. Yeah, it depends on the horse. <laughs> it does <laughs> depend <laughs> on the horse. Absolutely. But certainly you've got to be aware uh, horses uh, are large animals and they can, uh, as you say, they do have different personalities, can be very gentle and they can also stand on you. So let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, you've absolutely. got to be aware of what's yeah. going on. But if you think about the stamping, that would have been a learning experience in itself, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pain, pain what is, not to pain, do. Pain is a great way to learn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what they say. Falling Absolutely. off a horse. Falling off a horse and getting back on. Yeah. Well, look, good luck with it, Linda. It'll be fascinating to hear the results after the 12 months and see how these groups of young people go through it. But I can't think of a, a better leadership program for young people. It's just awesome. And it's happening right here in our region. Mm. And it, it's got to be in Australia first. Yeah, no, look, looking forward to it. We're really excited about seeing the outcomes as well. Um, we've already seen the outcomes just in, in the last two to three years with our own delivery. So, no, excited about it. Awesome. Yeah. Linda Wong uh, with the Equi Heads Youth Leadership Program. Equi Hands, sorry. Equi Hands, yep. Le- youth Leadership Program. Not easy to say, but it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful to do. A wonderful program. kids are, yeah, listen out for it at school. Thanks for coming in, Linda. No problem. Thank you.